Hi, this is Bill Loganiski, and I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now because about a month or so ago, I came to realize that it was carbohydrates that were increasing my weight. No matter what I was doing, I couldn't budge that scale. So I started studying about low-carb diets and adding fat, and I started losing about four pounds a week. And I made the, I'm making this video to share what I learned. And I'm calling this video, Best Way to Lose Weight, Breakfast and Snacks. As crazy as it sounds, you have to add fat to your diet to lose fat. And it, I know it sounds counterintuitive, and it's turning upside down the, uh, the calorie uh, consumption, because you don't count calories anymore. In this video, I'm giving you recipes and how to add fat, healthy fats, to your diet. Why add fat? Obesity is a disease. It's not created by our lack of character. It's a hormonal disease. The main hormone is insulin. Most of us overweight people are insulin resistant. What most of us don't know is that insulin's job is to drive glucose or blood sugar into the cells where it can be used. When you are insulin resistant, your body makes more insulin than you need and that's how we become obese and diabetic. What we are suffering from is that insulin causes hunger, so we overeat. Most of the food we eat will be stored as fat because insulin is the fat storage hormone. You know, most of us hear that word insulin. Insulin this and insulin that and insulin controls the blood sugars, but we don't realize that insulin's main job is to store fat. The foods we eat are either protein, carbohydrate, or a fat. Each of these cause different effects on glucose and insulin levels. This is the reason why when we eat carbs, our glucose and insulin levels go up very fast and then go down just as fast. Like take the instance of eating Chinese food. An hour later, we're hungry again because of all that rice and sugars they put into Chinese food. The insulin reaction to protein is almost nothing, and to fats, it's zero. So if you want to lose weight, eat foods that have zero effect on insulin levels, meaning eating healthy fats. And by healthy fats, we mean fats that are, uh, give you all the vitamins and nutrients that you need, but not the saturated fats. Stop the video and go through this diagram and it explains in more technical terms why you should add fat to your diet. So stop it now before you go on. Here is the breakfast omelet that I am creating and the reason that I'm doing it is because it contains fat, protein, and uh, vegetables all in one. So let me show you how I make it. First of all, I use an iron skillet. Added health benefits of iron skillet. Cast iron cooking introduces more iron into your meal. Foods like eggs, fried potatoes, even quick cooking and non-acidic foods have a five-fold increase in iron content. And the problem is most of us don't get enough iron in our diets. And this is a simple, cheap way as opposed to supplements to get iron into your diet. I start out by chopping up some onions, putting a little bit of coconut oil, adding the bacon that I chop up into strips, and start cooking. Once I get it cooking and the onions are caramelized, I take three eggs, put them in a cup, and beat them up. Then I take it and I add something called Goya adobo seasoning. A lot of you may not know about this seasoning, but it's a multiple blend of garlic, salt, pepper, all in one, and most supermarkets carry it. So what I do is I put the, uh, the bacon to fry the, the caramelized onion. Once it's nice and cooked, I throw in the egg, and then I let it cook evenly before I flip it. And you'll see the picture on the left is that I added two slices of Swiss cheese. And what I'm trying to do is add more fat, healthy fat, to the diet and to the omelet. And the reason why Swiss cheese is a hard cheese 
and it has uh, better uh, uh, fats in it and healthier for you. Here is the uh, the omelet. I took the put the cheese the far right corner. I put the cheese in, flipped it over. On the left, you see the the uh, omelet on my plate. And on the right side, you see that I cut it in half and you see that the onions are there, the bacon, and it has a nice golden color. No ketchup, no salt, everything is already there. Here is the, uh, the takeaway of what it looks like with the onions out. You can see where I have the fork holding up, the nice thickness of it, and it has a great taste and flavor with the onions, the bacon, the adobo seasoning, all together. Now... What to do with the iron skillet? A lot of people don't realize that iron skillets are basically non-stick skillets. The important thing is not to wash it with soap or detergent or Brillo because you lose that, that nice uh, greasing that it has on it naturally. Just put it in water, let it soak, scrape it off with the, the spatula and you're done. Tasty fat and snacks. I promised you some snacks and dessert. Homemade whipped cream. I know it sounds, again, counterintuitive, but homemade whipped cream from pasteurized heavy whipping cream has zero carbohydrates and protein. When you make it at home, it's less expensive, and you know what it went into it. Add some vanilla and and add some to add some taste also you could put in some uh, artificial sweetener if you want but you don't need it but if you want you can use sugar free jello it goes great with the whipped cream and also has zero carbohydrates you know uh, after dinner those two hours later you get a little hungry have some jello with uh, some nice uh, whipped cream that you made yourself you know what went into and it's healthy for you String cheese. String cheese is a great item. It's carbohydrate free and it's a uh, take with you for it's good for the home and the road. Keep some with you when you're out in the world to keep you from getting hungry away from home. You know, you're out there, you got your water, which I recommend you all should always be carrying with you. You have your water, you don't want to run into some convenience store and buy some junk food. Carry some string cheese with you and it'll take away the hunger because cheese it gives you satisfaction in your belly and you'd lose the hunger. Pepperoni, again, it sounds crazy. Pepperoni is 20% protein but 80% fat that will keep you from getting hungry and eating junk foods. It's a perfect snack for those hours between dinner and bedtime. And you have to think about those really are the bewitching hours when you're uh, an hour after eating, you're sitting in front of the TV, you're getting hungry again. Two hours later or so, have some pepperoni, a little bit of cheese. As you see in the picture on the right top, I have Swiss cheese slices that you can have as a roll-up to go with your pepperoni or have a string cheese. They go great. It satisfies your hunger and you start to lose weight. Please. Subscribe to JoanBarth.com and get a free 10-page weight loss report. There's a picture of what you'll see when you get to the site. Also, check out our new ebook store at JoanBarth.com. We offer some really good ebook information on carbohydrate eating, on fat loss, on all kinds of subjects. Take a look. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our low-cost weight loss e-courses. You know, we sell quite a few of these every week, and uh, you should be taking advantage. We have three levels, 27, 47, and 89, which offer different subjects and different volumes of information. Please subscribe and share our information with everyone on your email list. While you're at it, please like us on Facebook.com forward slash Saturday Diet. Again, I hope this information will help you going in the right direction and finally getting control of your weight loss. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Please leave comments in the comment section. Bye-bye.